<laughs> we moved into the area specifically for the access to the park and to the zoo. I homeschool my son and so this is his PE land and over the past month it's disappeared and it's it's really sad to see you know the rut marks in the in the field the garbage that's left at the end of the day so you know we're just just sad to see so much of the open space that we expected to have as part of the community when we moved into the community be eaten up and space for cars especially when the neighborhood streets go empty um, right now in front of our house there's space for at least seven cars um, all the way up and down Overton Park Avenue, the streets are empty, uh, people could be parking there. It's a hop, skip, and a jump over to the zoo. <laughs> Let me go on. <laughs> well, the last couple of days I've been coming out here and just seeing all these cars and, uh, you know, hearing a little bit about what the plans are. You know, at one point they were talking about getting rid of this pond here, and that's where my little dog, Zoom, learned to swim. So uh, that was kind of upsetting, but. Um, I guess as far as them parking on here, I know I'm probably supposed to be more upset about it, but as long as they're not building some ugly like parking structure and it's not doing any kind of permanent damage, it's kind of a matter of, you know, 